Hello, vinyl community. I'm back again. I can't stop making videos. I was going to stop making videos, and then I was watching a video by Dean, Retro2, who started a very interesting thread, and the thread was sort of terrible record covers. Record covers that don't make any sense, that are just weird and odd and just sort of bad record covers. And um, I went to work today and I sort of thought about it all day. So I decided to make a video, but I'm not going to do bad record covers. I'm going to do record covers that take themselves sort of too literally. The title of the album and the record cover are <laughs> exactly the same thing. You'll get what I mean. I mean, you don't need the title on the album because the record co cover basically tells you the title of the album. So, I picked out a whole bunch of these. Every one of these albums are thrift store records. So, um, <laughs> I paid no money for any of them, well, you know, 33 cents or 40 cents at the most for any of these records. But um, before I get there, I thought I would show two more in the vein of what Dean was doing, kind of just what is going on here. And the first one would be um, Heroes Are Hard to Find by Fleetwood Mac. And um, what is going on there? I do believe that is Fleet Mick Fleetwood on the cover with... Uh, a child, and they're all Mick Fleetwood, and it's three different naked children, and Mick there is just in his underwear, and uh, tennis shoes and socks, <laughs> and he's holding on to a child in three different positions, and I don't know what's going on there, but that's one, and the other one is <laughs> Peter and the Wolf, narrated by Bob Keeshan, Captain Kangaroo. And does he look really sad? <laughs> he just has this, I don't want to be here look on his face with all these puppets around him. And he's just like, get me out of here, please. So, okay, that's that vein. Now, these are just all record com covers that just say what the record is, or even sometimes the title. I'm going to start with a few that the title, I mean, are just obvious. Here's one called The Sound of Johnny Cash. Well, yeah, yes it is. And here is the new album by Gary Puckett and The Union Gap. Yes, it is. Here is the one and only Roger Miller. Yes, he is. This is Nat King Cole, and there he is. <laughs> this is Petula Clark, and there she is. See? Too literal. Okay. The Kingston Trio, going places. And as you can see, they are clearly going places. They've got a map and luggage, and uh, uh, they're off. And, uh... Here is Herb Albert in the Tijuana Brass, and Herb Albert is clearly going places in his airplane. This just cracks me up. Dean Martin, the Lush Years. Weren't they all Lush Years? I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he always, always drank, and that would make him a Lush. Therefore, the Lush Years. That doesn't really fit. I just had to do it. Deep Purple, Fireball. Yes, they are. <laughs> the Stray Cats, built for speed, and they are indeed leaning up against cars that are built for speed. Here's Styx with Crystal Ball. Yes, that's a Crystal Ball, all right. Manfred Mann, the Mighty Quinn, and there is the Mighty Quinn himself, Quinn the Eskimo, on the cover. The Irish Rovers, the Unicorn, and there it is. <laughs> Pete Fountain, Pete's Place, and yes, that is Pete's Place, and that is Pete Fountain playing at Pete's Place. 
Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass once again. The brass are coming. And as you can see, they are indeed coming right at you. <laughs> the Righteous Brothers, back to back. Indeed they are. <laughs> I've showed this before, but play guitar with the Ventures. And uh, that young gentleman right there is playing guitar with a Venture. <laughs> Del Reeves. Six on one half, half a dozen on the other. And as you see, there are six ha on one half and half a dozen Del Reeves on the other. <laughs> Steve Winwood, the Ark of a Diver. Yes, it is. Super Tramp, Paris. And that would be the Arch of the de Triumph. How do you pronounce that? The Arc de Triumph. And that would be Paris. Nick Gilder, City Nights, and there is Nick Gilder out enjoying a City Night. Men at Work, Cargo, and there is the Cargo right there. Betty Davis sings the end of the world. Betty Davis, yeah, I don't think so. Skeeter Davis sings the end of the world, and there she is celebrating the end of the world. The Eagles, Hotel California, and there it is, right there. <laughs> Emerson Lake and Palmer, standing on the love beach. <laughs> there is Eddie Arnold, standing alone, <laughs> and of course, he is. Jeannie C. Riley, the Harper Valley PTA, and there's the mom and the daughter right there. The daughter brings the note home and says, Mom, you got to go to the Harper Valley PTA meeting. And she goes, okay, right there. <laughs> Phil Collins, face value. Yes, he clearly loved his face. And uh, here, I have to do this. Okay. Anyway, that, that one's obvious. Check this out. This is the now sound. And if you can see this, I'm going to hold this one up here a minute. This clearly is the now sound. Look at these distorted guitars and the vibrant colors. And this clearly is the now sound. <laughs> Raw sugar, sweet sauce, and banana pudding. And it looks to me like Al here has had all three of these. <laughs> Al Hurt. <laughs> Raw sugar, sweet sauce, and banana pudding. And they look like they were pretty good. I love this color. Lenny D. Mellow D. And Lenny D certainly is mellow there. <laughs> I just love this cover. Focus, moving waves, and there they are, surrounded by the moving waves. Not really moving on the album cover, because it's a picture, but they would be. And there's Joe Jackson, looking sharp, at least his feet are. Chris Montez, fooling around. Well, it doesn't look like he's fooling around yet, but I think he's about to. <laughs> Gene Luke Ponte, the cosmic messenger, and there he is flying right across the sky. Sandy Nelson, and then there were drums. Yes, there are. Everywhere on this album cover is nothing but drums. The Fifth Dimension, up, up and away in their beautiful balloon, and uh... <laughs> They absolutely are. <laughs> Getting through here. In Whitcomb, Mod Mod Music Hall. And he is sitting right there in the Mod Mod Music Hall. Perez Prado and his orchestra dance party. And it's not much of a party, but it's a little bitty dance party there. <laughs> Ah, 
Roseanne Cash, King's Record Shop. And there she is, standing right in front of King's Record Shop. And last but not least, of course, Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass Whipped Cream and Other Delights. And uh, if this cover doesn't say Whipped Cream and Other Delights, then I don't know what does. Well, there you go, Mr. Dean Retro 2. There's my contribution to your thread. And uh, as always, I want to give a shout out to a few people, and especially uh, Mr. Eli, who I completely forgot to mention in my last video. Sorry about that. And of course, Dean, your video is awesome. Everybody, check out Retro Dean's video on. Uh, cool covers because it was awesome and uh, I want to give a shout out to Chris at Dixieland Farm and uh, Beetle Cat 1 now I'm going to miss like a half a dozen people because I didn't look uh, everybody that subscribed uh, Penix uh, Sean uh, Austin I know I'm missing a, a ton of people Robert Z and everybody else, thanks for watching, and um, once again, check out my podcast, the Snap, Crackle, and Pop Vinyl Hour, at snapcracklepop.podomaticpop.com, and until next time, thanks for watching, and uh, like and subscribe, and I'll uh, catch you later.